Hey, this is Raisho J Gaming, and welcome back to another Darkness Rises video. Uh, we're gonna be looking at the update and the event that we just got. You can now increase the maximum level of enhancements by transcending S plus plus equipment that's been enhanced to the current maximum level. You can only transcend with the same S plus plus equipment part. The material equipment you use for the transcendence doesn't have to be maxed out. The amount of gold and equipment use uh, you use for the transcendence cannot be retrieved. The maximum enhancement level will be increased by two with the main stat increased after transcendence. You can transcendence a maximum of five times in total of 10 enhancement levels. The transcendence icon will appear once your S++ equipment has reached its maximum enhancement level. So once you click on that transcendence icon, you'll be directed to the transcendence window. You can check the equipment sets beforehand if you tap the equipment card. Transcending will begin immediately if you click the transcend button. The level on the equipment that has been transcended will be displayed in an orange color. The maximum level available for enhancements will be increased by two. All right, so let's take a look at the new event raid dungeon that we have. We do have a new boss, her name is Regina. Hopefully I'm saying her name correctly. She does have two different stages in the event dungeon, Garden of Tears and the Corrupted Garden. You can enter the Garden of Tears alone and the Corrupted Regina will have a chance to appear. In the Corrupted Garden, you will battle the Corrupted Regina with your guild members. So when you're fighting Regina, she does have 10 different stages in the Garden of Tears. You will be moved to the next stage if you inflict a certain amount of damage to Regina. Regina's damage, attack speed, and defense will increase from one stage to another. The time limit for the gameplay is 10 minutes. You will get rewards based on the last stage you reach. Example, if you're defeated during the stage 9, you will get the stage 8 reward. You can discover Corrupted Regina at a certain chance. You can battle discover Corrupted Regina with your guild members in the Corrupted Garden. Corrupted Regina will not appear if you are not in a guild or if there are already 10 Corrupted Reginas active. The level of Corrupted Regina differs based on the difficulty and the stage reached. So when doing the Corrupted Garden, the maximum of 10 Corrupted Reginas can be active at a time. No additional Corrupted Reginas will appear if there's already 10 Corrupted Reginas active. The Corrupted Regina will be active for 3 hours and disappear once 3 hours has elapsed. You cannot select Corrupted Regina that is already in battle. You cannot enter the Corrupted Garden if you are not in the guild or on the same day you join the guild. You can also use your co-op skills in the Corrupted Garden. A maximum of three guild members can enter the Corrupted Garden. You can resurrect with gems in Corrupted Garden. However, the stage will be over if all the participants are defeated. The gameplay limit is 10 minutes. You can get participation rewards from the Corrupted Garden. You can get guild rank points and the boss reward if you successfully defeat the Corrupted Regina. You can get a higher rank points if you defeat the boss with a higher level. Boss rewards will be delivered to all guild members through inbox. The guild ranking will be determined based on the rank points accumulated. Final ranking rewards will be delivered after the event is over. Ranking rewards can be claimed on the mission event screen and will be delivered to all guild members. For the event shop, you're able to get cleanse coins from event raids and PvP. Uh, so with winning rank matches, you get 6, participate in Brawl, 15, win a match of dual PvP, 6, and win a match of team PvP, 15. The Diablic costumes will not be available from the costume chest anymore. So the new costume for this update is the Vindictus 3 costumes which will be available in the costume chest. They're gonna be from B plus to S plus. All right, so that's gonna be it for this update slash event video for Darkness Rises. Uh, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions or anything, just leave comments. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe for more content. Uh, more stuff will be coming out soon for Darkness Rises and some other games as well. And again, this is Rice Gaming. Have a great day.